today we'll be going to one of the most unique iconic landmarks here in Zoroma City, the Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Concepcion. So we just finished our exams and what better way than to relax than to explore places, diba? No, totoo, because you know, to a place where history and culture and faith intertwine, which makes up like marvelous tapestry of like experiences while also allowing us to be in peace and relaxation. Standing proudly in the heart of the city, the Metropolitan Cathedral is a testament to the enduring spirit of the Filipino Catholic people here in Zamboanga City and their deep-rooted devotion to their faith. So we're on our way to the top and spiraling stair. So yeah. As you step inside, you're immediately enveloped by a sense of peace and tranquility. The soft glow of candlelight dances across the polished marble floors, while the scent of incense hangs in the air, carrying with it the prayers of countless souls. Every corner of the sacred space tells a story from the vibrant hues of the stained glass windows depicting scenes from the Bible to the delicate craftsmanship of the wooden statues adorning the altars. Each detail serves as a testament to the rich cultural heritage of Zamboanga City and its people. Initially, the cathedral was located at the front of Plaza Pershing, designated as a cathedral in 1910. During World War II in 1943, the cathedral was bombarded by Japanese soldiers. In 1956, the cathedral was relocated beside Ateneo de Zamboanga University. But beyond its architectural beauty, the Metropolitan Cathedral holds a deeper significance for the people of Zamboanga. It is a place of solace and refuge where the faithful gather to seek comfort in times of joy and sorrow alike. With the interview we had earlier with one of the priests of the cathedral, it's clear that the church is not just a physical structure, but a gathering of people. As per what the priest said, it is where they find refuge, give thanks, and connect spiritually. It highlights the importance of a community and the role the church as a place where people come together to worship and seek guidance from a higher power. According to him, it emphasizes the spiritual significance of the church as it is believed to be constructed by the Lord through the apostles. So I just got back home from our little expedition there at the Metropolitan Cathedral and really that experience was so relaxing yet very intriguing at the same time we just finished our exams so being in a new and better environment after a lot of paperwork was really really refreshing but during our little expedition i've come to realize that the church indeed plays a really big or like a vital role in the community and the culture itself as per what father said earlier it's where we find solace in times of desperation sadness and depression or maybe even <clears throat> stress we often find ourselves seeking comfort and somehow for some people the church provides that and yeah, I really do believe it is something that plays a really big role for us. For me specifically, as a Catholic, because sometimes I do go to the church when seeking solace, seeking for peace. Especially like after what happened, after the exams, of course I needed to relax, to reflect on what I did and the church was able to provide that for me. After a day of exploring and appreciating the fine interior and exterior design of the Metropolitan Cathedral, I noticed something. 
I noticed that it isn't about its fine architecture and design embedded with it. I noticed that it is a great symbol. Um, it shows a lot of deep meaning towards the Zamboanguenos. Um, it is a place of worship, a place of refuge where many of the faithful and um, believers of the Christian faith come together to show their thanksgiving, to pray, to ask for forgiveness, and many more. It is a place of virtue and wisdom. And embedded with it, um, its followers. Together, um, it brightens the whole atmosphere of things where everyone and everyone around you, even though they're just strangers, um, you can still uh, come together and pray. So, I just got home from the cathedral and after visiting, touring, walking around, and reflecting on what Father said about the cathedral, I've realized something that not many would usually notice. The cathedral, or churches in general, they're not just buildings that they put up for fun and for giggles because Jesus wanted churches. Jesus formed churches because he wanted people to take refuge there if they were ever vulnerable or like people would want to take a rest if people want to come together and be safe together and praise God together. So having an assembly or like a place where people could feel safe and depend on it is something really you don't see every day so it's, it's something that really surprises me when I came to like learn about churches